This sports segment of Naperville News 17 is brought to you by Belgio's Catering, a tradition of excellence. A few weeks ago, we brought you the Little League World Series, and now it's time to crown a pair of champions in the Naperville Fast Pitch Softball League. Starting with the 5th and 6th graders, in a battle of 2-seed Florida versus the 5-seed Colorado State, it's the Rams jumping out to an early lead. Not only that, but Colorado State pitching also holds on early thanks to a pair of first inning strikeouts. But the Gators surge late thanks to this crushed double. Trailing by one in the final frame, Florida puts up a fight, but the Rams hold on, winning 10-9. To the 7th through 9th graders, LSU coming in undefeated against Michigan and quickly jumping on the board. Big hits kept coming too, with the Tigers racking up 18 runs. Michigan puts up a threat offensively, but it's LSU taking the title. Finally, on the following night for the 3rd and 4th graders, Texas A&M take it on Tennessee for the right to win the whole league. Aggies net a run with this infield single, and that's followed by a few more early tallies. Tennessee sends a pair across home plate thanks to this double, but Texas A&M holds on for the win, capping the season in style. The U-14 City Girls Water Polo Championship took place at Naperville North. Crest Creek facing off against Huntington Estates. Crest Creek came out hot and scored first, but Huntington Estates bounces right back, ultimately scoring 13 points on the night with multiple girls notching multiple goals. Crest Creek would attempt the rally in the fourth quarter, but Huntington Estates walks away with the medal and the title 13-7 the final. Later in the night, the Blue Dolphins of Maple Brook 2 took on Huntington Estates in the U-14 Co-Ed Championship. The Blue Dolphins struck early in the first and third quarters to take a 3-2 lead, but the Seahawks scored the next four goals of the game and clamped down on defense. Huntington Estates completes the sweep of the U-14 division with a 6-4 championship game victory. And Crest Creek Country Club was home to the U-11 Naperville Suburban Water Polo Championship game. The Saybrook Sharks, the 2017 champions, were back to defend their crown against the Rebels of Crest Creek Country Club. Rebels jumping out to the early lead, and while Saybrook scored twice to cut the lead to 4-3, the Rebels added a late goal to seal the victory. The Cadet Wrestling Nationals held in Fargo, North Dakota last week as the country's best go head-to-head. -head. Several local wrestlers competed for Team Illinois, Wrestling at 182 pounds, Josh LaBarbera finished in sixth place in the cadet freestyle category, becoming the second All-American in Matea Valley program history. His Mustang teammate, Philip Sims, competed in the junior freestyle division at 138 pounds. Naperville Central's Kyle Gutash wrestled at 132 pounds, and Nequa Valley's Jacob Bowman also wrestled in the junior freestyle at 170 pounds. Team Illinois won the junior freestyle division and finished fourth in the cadet freestyle. North Central College has its new head women's basketball coach. Maggie McCloskey-Bax was named the 11th head coach in the program's history. A Loyola Chicago graduate, McCloskey-Bax has experience in the CCIW, spending four years as an assistant with Carthage College. That's it for sports. Kim, back to you. Thanks, Kevin. The 51st annual Naperville City Swim Meet is on July 27th and 28th. You'll be able to find the highlights on NCTV 17 and, of course, on NCTV17.com.